I think uh, for Frenchmen who are used to have only one, maximum three cities in which he would invest in France, Paris, Lyon, and eventually Marseille or Lille, they have to get, be, to get used to 14 cities in Germany in which they may invest. Important is, if you say 14 cities, you are most probably in 10 different federal states. You are a federation of states in Germany. And that does mean that from time to time, the law will change slightly. On the one hand side, the construction law is changing. And on the other side, you will have different taxes. And the tax side is certainly for a foreign investor of predominant importance. So, taking in mind that you have uh, tax rate, uh, stamp, tax, uh, stamp duties on the property sale or acquisition of 3.5 to 5.5%, you have to consider this carefully where you're buying. You have to take it as simply a, a data with you. Then you have to take into consideration by structuring the transaction that you have a corporate, ta ta corporate income tax rate of 15%, which is not as high and needs perhaps consideration in structuring the deal if it's necessary to have a Luxembourg structure or an Amsterdam structure or whatever structure in between. And last but not least, very important, is that also you, have to, you can and you have to avoid trade tax, which is certainly a cost factor and must be figured in as a kind of a sec second income tax to a certain extent. So that are more or less the key data I think you have to consider if you go for the first time into Germany. And please take care. Uh, there are the asset assets are most probably smaller than you are used to have assets in Paris or in London or in other big cities. It might be that the, the price tag on an asset might be something between 15 and 35,000 million euros. And that does mean that you have to have perhaps a little bit more assets to manage and to have property management of that.